coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sonic's company YX Model B makes its first flight. Airbus Perlin Mission 2 finishing U.S. testing. Bell completes a milestone step on their V280. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 10th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Earlier this year, Sonics announced their latest aircraft development project, which is the Sonics YXB models. Then at Sun and Fun, they picked up the excitement by letting people know what these new aircraft look like. They said the B models provide more of what their customers have been looking for, and now their first YXB model airplane has taken flight. Sonics announced that T-Flight Chief Flight Instructor Joe Norris had the honor of conducting the first flight last Friday in the Aero V turbo-powered YXB. Joe reported, Temperatures were in the green and it flies like a Sonics. It's always good to have engine temperatures under control on a first flight, and letting us know it flies like a Sonics means it looks like they have a great new plane in their kit-built lineup. These new B-model kit-built airplanes provide more cockpit room and an increased choice of engine installations. More information can be found on the Sonics website. Airbus Group CEO Tom Enders joined the all-volunteer Airbus Perlin Mission 2 team last Saturday in the role of co-pilot on the latest test flight of the Perlin 2 glider, which is the world's first engineless aircraft designed to reach the edge of space. The flight was led by the project's chief pilot, Jim Payne, at Minden Tahoe Municipal Airport. The Perlin 2 is a pressurized sailplane designed to ride on air currents that in certain mountainous regions near the North and South Poles can reach into the stratosphere. The Airbus Perlin Mission 2 team will be relocating its operations to the Patagonia area of Argentina this summer, where conditions will allow the team to begin higher altitude flights that will ultimately take them as high as 90,000 feet. Despite having no engine, the glider's true airspeed at 90,000 feet will be more than 400 miles per hour and the air density will be less than 2% of what is at sea level. The crew will breathe pure oxygen provided by a rebreather system similar to what astronauts use in space. After the break, Bell Helicopter makes progress on the V-280. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aerial TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aerial-news.net. Progress continues as Bell Helicopter has successfully joined the V280 Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Wing and nacelles to the aircraft fuselage. The milestone occurred last week at the company's Aircraft Assembly Center in Amarillo, Texas. Once the aircraft achieves a successful first flight on September 2017, program leaders are confident Bell Helicopter will have the data required to go into the full-scale engineering, manufacturing, and development phase. The V-280 has an anticipated cruise speed of 280 knots with 500 to 800 nautical mile combat range. In the coming months, work on the V-280 will involve preparing for a tethered power-up at Bell Helicopter Facility in Amarillo in the first half of 2017. Development continues in the company's Flight Control Systems Lab in Fort Worth. The lab integrates pilot inputs of flight control computers and flight controls to match the software and hardware compatibility. The T-64 GE419 engines and gearboxes are expected to be installed in the nacelles this November. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. (music) 
May 13th and 14th bring us the California Aircraft Expo being held in Palo Alto, California. This is actually the first of three expos being held at this year and it features California's leading aircraft manufacturers and dealers working together to sponsor the 7th annual California Aircraft Expo series where the latest models of general aviation aircraft will be on display at one venue. On May 14th is the Challenge Air for Kids and Friends Fly Day and it's being held at McKinney National Airport, McKinney, Texas, founded by a Vietnam naval aviator who became a paraplegic in an aircraft carrier landing crash. His philosophy was simple. Use aviation as a means to demonstrate that challenges do not mean limitations. 25 volunteer pilots will fly 125 children with special needs and their families to demonstrate the wonder of flight. Also on the 14th, DeKalb Peachtree Airport is holding its Good Neighbor Day open house air show. There is no admission fee to Good Neighbor Day and the air show includes Team Errol Shell and numerous other great performers. There will be helicopter and biplane rides available and the World War II C-46 named Tinkerbell will be there to amaze you with its size and girth. On May 14th and 15th, you'll find the J.B. McGuire Dix Lakehurst Power in the Pines Open House at J.B. McGuire Dix Lakehurst in New Jersey, the nation's only tri-service joint base. It is set to open its doors to the community to feature air show headliners, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, and other great air show acts. After these messages, unmanned aircraft demonstrates cloud seeding flight. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG Series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Now Bree is going to take us around the patch. Thanks, Christopher. A fixed wing unmanned aircraft has successfully tested a cloud seeding payload during an experimental flight in Nevada. Flown at the FAA unmanned aircraft test site, the UAV deployed two silver iodide flares, successfully demonstrating its ability to perform unmanned aerial cloud seeding operations. Astronomers using the TRAPPIST telescope at ESOS La Silla Observatory have discovered three planets orbiting an ultra-cool dwarf star just 40 light years from Earth. These worlds have similar sizes and temperatures similar to those of Venus and Earth and are therefore potentially inhabitable. Adalso Falcon 2000 LXS has become the first business jet to fly an instrument approach procedure with a published LPV minima of 200 feet using Europe's EGNOS LPV 200 service. The flight was performed as part of initial European LPV-200 trials. This year marks 25 years that the KC-10 extender has been refueling U.S. and coalition aircraft from an undisclosed location in Southwest Asia. It is considered to be vitally important in accomplishing U.S. Air Force's Central Command missions. The FAA has approved the second option for a Flight Star Corporation STC for their ADSB Out Supplemental Type Certificate. With the completion of this amended STC, Flight Star now offers two different options for GPS position pairing for the Learjet models 40 and 45. That's the trip around the patch. Back to you, Christopher. Thanks, Bree. As Amazon moves forward with its plan to provide its own airborne delivery service, Atlas Air Worldwide Holdings has announced that it will provide air cargo services to support Amazon's package deliveries to its customers. The long-term commercial agreements will include the operation of 20 Boeing 767-300 converted freighters for Amazon on a crew, maintenance and insurance basis by Atlas Air, as well as dry leasing by its Titan Aviation Leasing Unit. Operations are expected to begin in the second half of 2016 and ramp up the full service through 2018. 
Amazon's Dave Clark said, we're excited to welcome a great provider, Atlas Air, to support package delivery to rapidly growing number of Prime members who love ultra fast delivery, great prices, and vast selection from Amazon. These agreements also provide for future growth of the relationship as Amazon may increase its business with Atlas. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins from important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. From the staff of Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource, always have an out.